Now, last night, Swiss Beats went against Timberland in their verses. This was their long-awaited rematch, and they dropped bombs. But one notable thing that I want to get into today is that J. Cole verse on Bath Salts. And yes, I will be playing the full thing for you guys today. Shout out to all the yo yas on the east side. It's your boy KD. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. And without further ado, let's play the snippet. I'll tell you something. That's the cute ver I like that version. But let me play this version. Who the first one that wanna jump up? Woo! Who the first one that wanna get locked up? Huh? This rap Say what? shit got you really believing Talk you that nigga you rapping like fuck Talk niggas to hanging with tough niggas for bragging rights. I don't know if that's cool with y'all if so then cool. I move along. A real nigga, I grew up with do's and don'ts, and that type lose their life like you might lose your phone. Relatively often, now I put 750s often, never living me off my square or off my chair. In this Woo! game of musical chairs, ain't it clear that my Maneuvers with more fluid than theirs And I hear you talking about your money Was you aware just to catch up to my bread It would take you 200 years, nigga Yeah, yeah. Now, now cut, cut that, that shit out. out I know what you netted Don't make a nigga put that shit out No, play the Oh, you're not gonna play the whole J. Cole verse? Okay He's being nice Hey, look He's being nice Now, off the bat J. Cole on Bath Saw was something A lot of people didn't even expect and one notable thing that I noticed off the bat is that J. Cole went off. That verse sounded super fire, but it also made me think is how many versions of Bath Salts is out there? Bath Salt is obviously not a new song that they've been working on. This song was first played in, we could call this a versus, but this was before versus was even a thing when Swiss Beats went against Just Blaze. And he ended off the battle playing our first version, the first thing we ever heard of a song that featured Jay-Z, Nas, DMX. And this version also had Jadakus, which I wish they would have kept. This the bath salt song, motherfuckers act like zombies when they come on. This the cut those cut those kill shit, cut weed kill shit, this that real shit. Damn, I think it's the tunnel, raise it in the mouth for that baby shit was out. Better tuck it straight and that's a warning, warning, warning. But he's come on, he's gonna do it, warning. This that street shit, we don't fuck that weed shit. This that street shit, we don't fuck that weed shit. This that street shit, we don't fuck that weed shit. Loyalty is something that you can't get enough of. No, life is a bitch, but you can't snuff her. Loyalty is something that you can't get enough of. Loyalty is something that you can't. If you look at videos from this verses, all you have to do is look at Buster Ron's face just to see how everybody felt about hearing this song for the first time. People's natural reaction from hearing Bath Salts for the first time is when are we gonna hear this song in full? And from every response that I've ever heard from anybody that got asked about this song, it was always a thing about ego. I guess certain people wanted it to be on their albums and it never came to fruition until we heard it on DMX's album. The last time you put out Poison, you said that there was a record with Jay-Z, Nas, <laughs> DMX, and Jadakiss <laughs> that you didn't put on the album. Why not? Because, man, one, everybody want to make a better verse. Mm. Right? And so that that's just, that's why I got 3,000 songs, in, on, you know, that that will never probably come out. Because mm -hmm. um, these guys, once you go to that high high caliber with these geniuses, right. and then you put in other geniuses with other geniuses, with other, it becomes... I need to do my verse over that line. I said, I need to do this. And uh, at one time, I just was going to say, I'm going to just put it out. What are you going to do? Sue me? <laughs> yeah. 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 Why? <laughs> yeah. But why, why is that? You think, you, think, you think it's the collaboration <laughs> aspect of it? Like when Jay finds out 
Nas is on there, and Nas finds out X is on there, and vice versa. They're like, yo, let me hear what they say, and maybe write something harder. Yeah, they, they all inspired by each other. Now, unfortunately, on DMX's album, it didn't have the version that we heard the first time, which I really do enjoy that version. But nonetheless, still an ill version. Nas, Nas went crazy on the new version, by the way. Nas went crazy. Jay-Z had his same verse and also did DMX. Now, what I really want to know is, where did this J. Cole version come from? Is this a new verse? Was this laid down recently? Or was this laid down beforehand when they originally came up with this song? I want to know what y'all think. Let me know in the comments. How do you guys feel about this J. Cole verse that was on Bath Salts? How do you guys feel about that versus too? I feel like it was a great versus. I feel like versus was dying out. And this one got the feeling back. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like. Subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here.